My name is Vicki and I'm with Texas Last Diet, your last diet. And today is Fridge Friday, which means I open up the refrigerator and I say, hmm, what am I gonna use today to get rid of all the stuff in my refrigerator before I go into the weekend and I go home, right? So I had some spinach and I had some eggs and I had some uh, spaghetti sauce and I had some mushrooms and I had some onions. So guess what I'm doing? Well, I had some great ideas. I could have made an omelet, and I could have made a soup. I don't know how I could have worked eggs in that, but I was thinking about all kinds of different things I could make, and then Jody posted this amazing picture of this really cool thing that she made in this skillet, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm making that. <laughs> So here's what it is, right? It looks fairly simple. So I have some spinach. Now my spinach is kind of soggy. It got frozen in my uh, um, refrigerator at home. I have this button and it got too high and it got frozen. And well, anyways, my, fridge is, my spinach is kind of soggy. So I threw that in there. And now what I'm gonna do on top of that, I think I'm gonna put my mushrooms just because I'm gonna want them to meld together. So I washed the rest of my mushrooms and I'm throwing them in on there, okay? Now, you could technically throw this onto like a, on your oven and your stove and just cook it with some butter and some salt and pepper and you'd be good, right? Because it all sauteed down, saute down and you would have some, a great little saute of vegetables, right? But I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am gonna throw my rest of my onions on there and they were kind of wilty too. So we're gonna call this the wilty bake. That's what I'm making. <laughs> I like it, my wilty spinach bake. All right, so there's my onions and now I'm gonna add my herbs. And I'm gonna do real simple. I mean, most everybody has onion powder. I'm gonna throw some of that in there and I'm just, you know, not measuring it because that's what I do. And then garlic salt. I was gonna chop up some garlic, but guess what? <laughs> I'm out of garlic. How does that even happen? I think I need to start like growing my own garlic. Is that easy? I don't know. All right, and then I have this tomato sauce. Now I made this tomato sauce in a crock pot and it was super easy. If you want the recipe, just holler at me. But there's all kinds of tomato sauces that you can do if you want. Um, you can get the ragu, uh, Simply Ragu at the store, and there's some other ones that don't have any sugars in them. I mean, come on guys, doesn't that look good? My, I make some good sauce, I will tell you that. Even my kids say I make good sauce. So this has just a little bit of hamburger in it, some tomatoes and stuff. I'm gonna put that right on top. Ooh boy, I wish you could smell that. I put lots of garlic and herbs in my sauce, and I just let that cook pretty much all day. All right, Jody. I wish you were watching. I don't see your name on there, but how does that look? All right. <laughs> My mouth is watering and I think it looks pretty dang good. All right, so now comes the eggs. I know you're like, what? That's kind of crazy. Well, what I saw, maybe I should do something like this. Put it like a little indention. So my little egg. So I'm gonna put this right in this little indention right there. I did it. Okay, and I will tell you, when I get done and this gets done cooking and stuff like that, I post the pictures it, you know, below. So you guys look down below. Give me a, I think I'm gonna put it in. I have my uh, little teeny tiny oven cooking here for 350. I'll probably have it in there a half an hour, at least until these eggs set, okay? So if you'll notice here, I'm kind of just making a little hole for my eggs. I don't even, I wish, hey Jody, what do you call this? I see you on here. I called it a, a leftover spinach bake or something like that, because I got spinach down there. And I didn't know what you put underneath the uh, your sauce, but I did, I did see the mushrooms. I'm pretty sure you had mushrooms on there and eggs, but it looked fantastic. I hope mine looks as good as yours. You probably had zucchini in there, huh? All right, guys, ooh, ooh. I didn't break the yolk. That was kind of scary there for a second. All right, so it is done. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> well, we will see. I'm gonna pop it in this oven. My oven is, oops. Mm, let me take this little pan out of here. So it get really hot. My oven, sorry about that. <laughs> my oven is 450. And it's going right in there. There in my teeny tiny little, what's it called? Fiberware oven, got that in right at Walmart several years ago. It's working really fa fancy. Jody, I know you're on here. You just gotta keep me hanging. <laughs> so my name is Vicki, finishing out the fridge. I have only one thing left in the fridge, and guess what it is? My Nopalitos. 
Now, Lily told me I should put it in there, but I was like, yeah, I don't think no bolitos and spinach and not, it just didn't sound good. So I might make this into a little salad by adding some of my apple cider vinegar. You gotta have every single day to the top of this with some other herbs and spices. Cause I think I have some cilantro in there too. My name is Vicki with Texas Last Night. You guys have a fantastic weekend. And thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you have any suggestions, please post them. I would be more than happy tomato sauce and eggs. Hmm. That's all she had in there is tomato sauce and eggs. Well, I will be more than happy to make your guys' recipe if you guys come up with something good, holler at me, all right? That's Vicki at Texas Last Diet, and you can see these videos on YouTube too if you wanna check them out. Have a great day, and remember, like and share, and comment too.